The majority of my patients come from two areas. They are either with congenital disabilities, something like spina bifida, cerebral palsy, or neuromuscular disease like a muscular dystrophy, or you sometimes have patients who come to you with acquired disabilities, like after an accident or an unfortunate medical complication, such as a traumatic brain injury, an anoxic brain injury, a spinal cord injury, or perhaps a burn. Even though there are many different diagnoses, your focus for each patient is the same. You want to make sure they're attaining their maximum functional ability, whether that's walking for them or ambulation by way of a wheelchair. Or you also want to look at their activities of daily living, see if they're able to dress themselves, feed themselves, how can you facilitate these things so the child can be as independent as possible. And you also want to take a look at their cognitive abilities. If a patient has cognitive deficits, you want to make sure that they get the specialized education that they need in school. And frequently you can be an advocate for that by educating the parent about what they can do to help a child with special needs.